All right, so here in the red corner, we have the Harbor Freight set of chisels, which goes from inch and a half all the way down to, these are switched, to, is that quarter inch? That is quarter inch. Over here, we have the two cherries, the venerated two cherries from one inch all the way down to quarter inch. Wonderful set, beautiful set. I will say, if you order these off of Amazon, expecting them to come with the wooden box, you will be mistaken. You will be disappointed. Look at that Kirschen six chisel set in wood box. These did not come with a wood box. I returned the set. They sent me out a new one, and it still does not have a wood box. <laughs> I finally said whatever. Um, the, the places that I can buy them in store and online aren't any... Um, any cheaper. So I'm just going to keep them. Um, I have no idea what metal uh, these are made out of. They say chrome vanadium. I don't know what wood the handles are made out of. Uh, you know, some kind of Chinese hardwood, I'm sure. It's decent quality. I have hammered the back of these. Look at that. They say you're not supposed to, but I've done it. I'm going to put that there where that goes. Um, I have hammered the back of just about every single one, except it looks like I haven't hammered on the half inch and I haven't hammered on the quarter inch. Uh, these are horn beam handles, whereas these are some unknown Chinese hardwood. These are horn beam. And I believe that the metal is high carbon steel, a pure high carbon steel. Check these out. It is a beautiful set of chisels. I'll make a box for them. All right, so we've got a two chisel extravaganza here. I picked up this beautiful set of two cherries chisels. These will run you, you know, about 25 bucks a chisel. Kirschen, two cherries, Germany. Uh, these are supposed to be some of the best chisels you can buy. A lot of people say that those Nerex Richter chisels are are better, but um, but I, I've never found a satisfactory answer on w whether these two cherries are um, inferior to those Richter or not. I, I've never seen somebody who doesn't have some kind of monetary incentive to say that those Narex Richter chisels are better, say that they're better. And if, if they've said that, I haven't seen the evidence. So these are supposed to be the best that you can buy. Horn beam handles. Very, very hard. And I was thinking to myself, you know, okay. So this set was about 160 bucks and I bought it for a number of reasons. Um, you know, what, one, of the, one of the primary reasons I bought it, you know, I'm just gonna be honest here, is because for my entire adult life and woodworking life, I have been using tools that I either make work uh, because they're, they're cheaper than, you know, what you should buy or I have been making my own things. And what I've realized is when I sell the things that I sell, people really do have an image in their mind of this craftsman with the finest tools, the most expensive tools. And when I break out the Harbor Freight chisels, <laughs> people people are disappointed. And, and so th this is... Um, not a recognition that I might need these tools, but it's a fairly practical way of acknowledging that people think craftsmen who demand top dollar should be using tools that cost top dollar, even if the performance is not greater between these Harbor Freight chisels and these Two Cherries chisels. You know, nothing against German manufacturing at all. I love German manufacturing. I think the Germans make wonderful tools. If I can get a German tool, um, I, I do think that it will be, uh, it'll be high quality. I do have that expectation for German tools. That said, I'm sure that these Harbor Freight chisels are made in China. Uh, now, both of these are firmer chisels. I should say, let me pick out this uh, 20 centimeters is one inch, isn't it? Or three quarters, is that three quarters? 20 centimeters is three quarters, okay, gotcha. Now, these Harbor Freight chisels are a little bit shorter. The handles are, 
I have no idea what, what handle material they're made out of. I, I will say, man, I, I don't hate these handles. The balance on these Harbor Freight chisels is, is actually quite nice. I think I paid eight bucks for uh, two, four, six. I paid eight bucks for six of them. You know, they go on sale for $7 quite frequently. Chrome vanadium steel on the Harbor Freight. Uh, these two cherries chisels are, from my understanding, just a pure high carbon steel. I don't know. They're new. I have not used this set at all. You look at that. Um, look at that very, very toothy grind for these two cherries chisels. Look at that. I can feel the burr there. Um, and, and I have some red oak. You know what? This one's a little bit nicer. And I actually milled this red oak myself. And I'm going to test the moisture content on it here. Let's see. Just, uh, just you know, so, there's a lot of trickery out there. Look at that. 11, to, all right, we'll call it 11%. 11% moisture content. That is seasoned red oak. Very, very seasoned red oak. So, you know, the question here is... Do you need to spend $160 on chisels? I'm not convinced that you do. And uh, we're going to put that to the test here. So how I'm going to do that is I have my set of Arkansas stones. Got soft, I've got hard, and I've got surgical black. And I'm going to, you know what, surgical black ought to do it because a lot of my Harbor Freight chisels are already sharp. We're going to take my three-quarter chisel here, and I'm just going to hone it. You know, this would be, I would consider honing. Honing on a stone. Very, very hard stone here. Maybe your grandkids will need to flatten this stone. I've had this stone for a number of years now. And I mean, it's just excellent in, in every single way. It's excellent. Don't forget, don't forget about the backside too, because you really do need to maintain a flat back if you're going to have a sharp chisel. And when you when your chisel kind of starts to, to stick to the stone, that's when you know you've got a flat back. So look at the back there. And I'm going to do one more here. Okay, that's now wicked sharp. I can tell you just by looking at it. And by feel. All right, so we've got our hone here. I'm gonna hone the back. I'm gonna hone the front here. All right. Cool. All right, so that's the three quarter. And part of the reason I'm doing this too is I want to um, just demonstrate that these have the same treatment. Let's see, is that three quarters? Yeah, that's three quarters, okay. And you know, part of my gripe maybe with these two cherries is <laughs> I, I'm not good with the metric system. I couldn't tell you how many inches 20 centimeters is. All right, so you know what? Let's flatten the back first. I think that was my moisture meter. There was quite a burr on this two cherries chisel. So I just want to hone that off here. And you know what I can tell? I can tell that this back is not flat. So I am going to have to flatten that. Look at that, wow. Yeah, that's definitely not flat. I really should take this all the way from, um, I'll probably flatten the back with my diamond stones. 
is what I'll do. It's toothy. It's a very toothy grind from the factory. You can see where it hasn't quite flat. It's flat all the way across at the very, very cutting edge, but there's this low spot here. I'm gonna do two long straps here. All right, okay. So we've got our test piece there. Man, that's kind of long, isn't it? Is this in frame? All right. So let's see how sharp it is. First, we're gonna we're gonna do this Harbor Freight chisel first. Let's see. I'm making sure I'm not lifting it up there. Now that's you know no mineral oil, no water, nothing. You get a nice roll of end grain like that. You know you've got a sharp chisel. Uh, let's try the two cherries here. And I did take a, a deeper bite with that two cherries chisel, but very, very nice. Very, very nice shaving. Uh, here's a little bit of a knot. No edge damage going through there. Nice, pretty deep cut there. Switch over to the Harbor Freight here. <laughs> you know what, my Harbor Freight chisel's sharper. <laughs> By quite a bit. You know, and that's, I mean, noticeably sharper. Um, you know, um, okay. All right. So what am I saying with this video? Am I saying that this $7 set of Harbor Freight chisels is better than this $160 set of two cherries chisels? I'm not saying that at all. <clears throat> This is right out of the box with a little bit of stonework and some stropping. This is, um, I have really eked out 99, 100% of every bit of potential that this chisel has to offer. I have, um, I mean, I have really 
taken great pains to sharpen this chisel to be as sharp as it could be. I don't know that anybody out there has a sharper three quarter inch Harbor Freight chisel than, than that right now. I'd love to see it, but um, I think that's as sharp as that chisel possibly can be. This two cherries chisel, nowhere close to as sharp as I believe it can be. I'm hoping that once I take the time to flatten the back and go through my full progression of, of sharpening, that this chisel will blow my mind with how keen an edge it will take, how long it will hold that edge. Um, but what I think this video says, what I hope that it says, is you don't have to spend a great deal of money on a set of tools to get something that will perform at a high level. I could do any number of woodworking projects with this Harbor Freight chisel, and I have done any number of projects. I've worked on extremely high-end furniture with these uh, with these chisels, and, and they've always done everything that I need them to do. Maybe I have to sharpen them more often, Maybe I have to hone them and strop them more often, but uh, but I can absolutely, through my sharpening skill, get these cheap chisels to perform at an extremely high level. Um, I'm hoping that these two cherries unlocks just an even higher rung of performance, and uh, and and I think that I can say after woodworking for a number of years that um, that I can justify spending the money on these tools if they really are better. Um, although, honestly, after having these chisels, this is the first set of nice chisels that I've ever purchased. Um, I'm in my mid-30s now. I've been doing this for a number of years. Um, I, <laughs> I mean, I don't know. I might find myself going back to these Harbor Freight chisels. Um, I, I don't know. I'm very familiar with them. I know what they can do. Um, but, you know, I think this is fascinating. This this is very, very fascinating to me. And I hope what it says is don't be afraid to buy cheap tools and get them to work and do what you need them to do. Don't be ashamed or embarrassed of buying those cheap chisels. I learned on this set, on this set here, and I'm so glad that I did because um, this set of chisels taught me the fundamentals of sharpening. And what I hope I can do is now invest in some tools that have um, more attention paid to the quality of metal and to the hardness. And now that I have a good fundamental understanding of sharpening, unlock an even higher level of performance from these chisels. So, um, you know, I, I can vouch for these Harbor Freight chisels. They're excellent. I will say this Two Cherries set of chisels appears to be very high quality too, and I'm looking forward to to, to getting to know them. Um, but, uh, but I can absolutely get behind buying cheap tools, learning how to sharpen them, and then upgrading as you may see fit from there.